Querido compoblanos, cristiano, muslim y lumad, buenas tardes. Paz de Dios y abrazo de Nuestra Señora la Virgen de Pilar y San José. Esta canatun todo. Sabe ustedes, it's been 41 days since we declared enhanced community quarantine in Zamboanga City. In a special council session este día, we passed a resolution requesting the National Interagency Task Force to allow us to maintain the ECQ in Zamboanga City until May 15. We fought for this because while our COVID positive cases are lower than other cities, we still have around 119 suspect cases waiting for their COVID test results. We will not gamble on our public health. Acorda kita, that aside from security and education, health is our priority. We will not risk for a possible resurgence of COVID-19 by lifting the ECQ early and while the threat is not yet completely contained and managed well. Acorda kita que tiene se que se llama second phase. But if our request for the continuance of the ECQ will not be approved, we are prepared to implement the general community quarantine as mandated. Zamboanga City will be fully compliant with the IATF, the Department of Interior and Local Government. The LGU is finalizing the guidelines and protocols for the new normal and should we transition to the general community quarantine. We wait for the guidance from the national government as always. While we cali calibrate our COVID-19 response, we are also making sure that the city government is mobilizing and rolling out all possible resources to cushion the impact of the pandemic na kaday kwal sambanggenyo mga kasa, kristyano man, muslim ilumad. As of April 24, our first wave of the family food packs covered all the 98 barangays and have reached 178,615 households. With regards to the Social Amelioration Program or SAP, the Departamento del Servicio Social, LDSWD, through the City Social Welfare and Development Office and the City Treasurer's Office down to the barangays, a total of 23,767 families were given the 5,000 cash assistance in 40 barangays. Manana, the SAP will be rolled out in 28 barangays as the mga isla and 52,025 families will be reached. Ojala, Dios quiera, inshallah. 30 barangays are now undergoing the house-to-house -house validation as the pwede kita kumpli 98 barangay na entero ciudad de Zamboanga. We understand that this is not enough and many still need our help. Today, I ask the Honorable Sangguniang Panglungsod to have a special session as I will be submitting the proposed budget for the second wave of assistance for all residents of Sambuanga. The assistance will consist of one sack of rice at 25 kilos, un saco de arroz na 25 kilo para todo el mga household and one-time utility assistance for the amount of 500 for our water bills and another 500 for the electricity bills for the residential consumers. Esta es la asistencia que hay kita para el diatun mga household holders na agua y luz. Esta es la ayuda. This is to ensure that the welfare and well-being of every Sambuangueño family will continue while we remain committed to fight COVID-19, starting with the very families, the Christian, Lumad, and Muslim families in the city of Sambuanga. Como siempre, ese es el alcalde Ben Climaco. Tase pasa también el día de un agradecimiento con todo con ustedes for our first Sunday of rest, that as much as possible, the Sambuangueño families stayed at home. We ask everyone's cooperation. Como tabla si Presidente Duterte, we are not sure when we will be normalizing our situation. But to the best, from our frontliners down to our first responders in the barangays, we will continue to maintain our solid cooperation to fight COVID together 
a Juan Sambangueño family. Otra vez, este es el alcalde Ben Climaco y te rindió gracias con todo con ustedes por el suporta que te da de ustedes. No quita esta nadia tun campante, el día tun realidad que está aquí para el día tun enfermedad de COVID. El que ustedes suporta y ayuda todo que está necesita. Junto con Seth, con Tenil, Christian y Garnet, este es el alcalde Ben Climaco, está se pasa. El día tun deseo de unidad entre todo canatun y el deseo de esperanza, fe con Dios y amor para el ciudad y el entero mundo. Muchísimas gracias, junto con Nuestra Señora la Virgen del Pilar y San José, vaya con Dios a todos. Amen.